doing this Saturday night? Uh oh. Look at you, little Miss 90s. <laughs> Little Miss, I'm every woman. Don't sit up and work up the nerve to ask a man out yourself. What you got in mind? Well, I was thinking about a nice romantic dinner at my place. Candles and flowers, a little music. I'm there. I just need to know if I need to bring a change of drawers and some magic shit. I don't think so. Look, it's my uh, parents' 40th anniversary, and I'm planning a special ceremony so they can renew their vows. Oh, OK, so I get it. So you want to have Big Daddy hanging on your arms, kind of show off a little bit to your folks. <laughs> That's all right. You can use me, baby. Well, actually, I was hoping you could come and provide the music. You do know something without the words funky or booty, don't you? <laughs> oh, I get to come play at your parents' wedding? Oh, maybe I could come by early and snap the peas and wash off the collar. <laughs> Then maybe right after that, I could drive Miss Daisy down to the Piggly with Steve, Steve, now I'm gonna feel bad asking you if we could use your car to pick up Mom and Daddy from the airport. Oh, Regina, come on. Then I'm gonna have to clean out my trunk for your mama's suitcase. Then I'm gonna have to make up some lie about I'd enjoy that church. Please. All right. But you know something, you know, you got me doing all this boyfriend work, you know, I ain't seen no boyfriend pay. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. It's not the pay, it's the benefit package. What time is the plane? <laughs> well, Mommy, Daddy, it's my new place. What do you think? It's real nice, Puddin'. Where's the velvet painting of Martha the King I sent you? Uh, it's out being framed. Uh-huh. You said the same thing about the black Jesus I sent you. <laughs> you think Jesus is funny, boy? Uh-uh. Now, Linwood, take it easy on Stephen. He grew up to be a fine young man. So, Stephen, what church you go to? Uh, Mama, you want to help me put on some coffee? Oh, sure, Puddin'. But don't be pulling out that fancy French vanilla. You know I like my coffee American and black as Yafit Kodo. <laughs> so, Mr. Greer, I understand you retired now. What's to understand? I just don't go to work anymore. <laughs> well, I uh, gotta love living out there in Arizona, huh? I hate it. It's hotter than bad breath. <laughs> Gotta be excited about renewing your vows. Corinthia always wanted a proper wedding. But me, I'd get married in an army mess hall again if it meant spending another 40 years with my Corey. Boy, sure is nice to hear stuff like that nowadays, you know? Plus, the two of you got a beautiful daughter that you can both be proud of. You mean that beautiful daughter I had to comfort every time you made up some song about her weight problem? <laughs> Oh, that was so long ago, I don't seem to remember. Hmm. Well, I wonder where the coffee is. You don't remember those songs? I remember every one. How deep is your bowl? <laughs> Neither one of us want to be the first to say I'm full. When will I feed you again? I should have kicked your black. So, <laughs> hey. Uh, you two getting reacquainted. All caught up. Sorry I can't stay. <laughs> no, 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 you're not going nowhere. You're going to stay for dinner. Oh, no, I really can't stay for dinner. Oh, Mr. Big Music Star. Too good to eat with us common folk? <laughs> oh, see, it's not like that. It's just that I got a lot of... It, I was... I, I love to stay. <laughs> good, because I hope you like my salmon croquettes. Come on, Regina. Um, Mama, you know, I, I really don't eat fried foods anymore. Well, you need to eat some fried foods. You know you're behind ain't but that big. <laughs> Everybody at the family reunion, they think you're on that stuff. You gonna sit there? Or you gonna take the bags into the room? <laughs> ain't my fault your daughter weighed more than you made in a week. <laughs> <laughs> 